Today, I'm going to show you how to create a loop lookbook in Femora 11. Keep watching! Hi everyone, it's Chloe from Water Share for more here to empower your inner video creator. If you love fashion, then you would love this video. This tutorial is going to show you how to make a creative lookbook to show off your best outfits in a cool way. Just like this! It highlights specific clothing items and will turn your fashion vision into reality. I'm going to show you how easy it is to edit. But first, let's film the clips that we need. Set the camera or phone on a tripod and a steady surface to make sure that it doesn't move while filming. We'll frame it so that the door is on one side and there is enough space for the subject to walk in and out of the frame. You should also have different outfits ready to wear. Once you're ready to film, set the camera to record and walk through the door with the first outfit. Then, change to a different outfit and repeat the same process for the rest. For the best results, we recommend keeping the camera rolling to avoid small movement when pressing the record button and trying to walk through at steady walking pace. We even use some music to help keep the same walking pace. Now that we have all the outfits recorded, let's start editing our loop lookbook in Femora 11. If you haven't already downloaded Femora 11, get started by visiting femora.wanna.share.com or click the link in description. When it comes to creating loop videos, it's important to ensure that the first and the last frames are the same, and there must be continuity throughout the entire sequence. We will begin by importing the clip into Formar 11 and placing it on the first track. Now let's find a frame with an empty background. Freeze this frame and extend the frozen frame. I'm going to cut out the rest of the clip that I'm not going to use as a background. After I set up the background, I'm going to hide and lock the first track for now. Next, let's import the clip again on the second video track and find all the sections where the subject is walking. Make sure to cut out everything else and delete them. Now, I have several small sections of the subject walking on the second video track. Let's put the first outfit at the start of the timeline. Then, move the playhead until we find a frame where there is enough room for the second outfit to start. Move the second outfit clip to where the playhead is on the third video track. Double-click on the clip. Find the mask effect and pick the single line mask. Drag and rotate the mask to vertical so it could show the second outfit on the right side. Next, I'm going to blur the mask edges by increasing the blur numbers here. Now, let's add some animation to the mask. Click on the Add button to add a mask keyframe. Move the playhead forward until the first outfit leaves the frame. Don't worry if we see some black parts in the frame. The frozen frame on the first video track could replace the parts when we unhide it. Then, move the mask to the left to review the entire clip. Repeat these steps to the rest of the outfits. When we finish all the outfits, copy the clips from the first outfit, paste and overlap it on top of all the tracks after the last outfit on the timeline. We're adding this step to make sure the video loops after export. Repeat this step to add mask keyframe to this section. And lastly, let's unlock and unhide the first video track. Now, move the playhead to find a frame where the subject with the fourth outfit walks out of frame. And cut out the rest part of the freeze frame on the right. After that, move the playhead to the first round and find the frame that coincide with the last frame of the composition. And cut the previous part out. Alright, let's check the result! If we upload it to a social media platform that loops video automatically like Instagram does, it will play like this. Otherwise, 
We can import the clip on a new project and duplicate it several times on the timeline to an ideal length. I think music plays a big role in these types of videos because it also sets the tone and pace. If you find a track that matches the pace with a heavy bass or a beat, it will make the video look even better. And this is how to create a loop lookbook in Fomart 11. You can also use looping style videos to create music videos, marketing content, you name it. Have you seen any super cool loop videos and want to recreate the effects? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe for new videos on the channel. Keep creating and see you next time. Make more confidently from first frame to last. No matter what kind of videos you create, Vermont 11 can help you achieve more.